Well, his love is unconditional. Well, I, I agree with everything Dick said there. But uh, that wasn't even what I said. I said his forgiveness is conditional. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, his mercy is conditional. Yeah. Of course, they think it all means the same thing. Yeah. And, uh, but uh, Proverbs 28, 13 it says, he that covers his sin shall not prosper. Whoso confesses and forsakes them shall have mercy. Amen. And then, of course, John 15, 10, Jesus said, if, if you keep my commandments, yes. you shall abide in my love. Yeah. Because I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. Well, <clears throat> I want to uh, deal with the topic here of uh, dealing with demonic power in the open air. Mm. Dealing with Demonic power in the open air. Uh, I think this is a subject that's either overemphasized or ignored. Mm -hmm. yeah. But uh, let me let me read this uh, text. I'll read Luke. Well, I'll read two. I'll read Matthew chapter sixteen, verse nineteen. And uh, let me say this before I forget. All right. 2008, I was preaching out at, uh, well, September 30th, 2008. I was preaching out at North Carolina Chapel Hill. And when I was preaching out there, something tore right here. <clears throat> as soon as it happened, I said, I said, I got a hernia. Well, I thought I was done. I thought I wouldn't be able to preach no more outdoors. And uh, anyhow, uh, I, I cried for about three days over that. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but I tried. I tried to believe. I tried. I tried to believe God. I didn't tell a whole lot of people. Once I made the mistake of telling somebody that I, I'm a good friend of mine, good guy. I thought he was a faith guy getting there with me, and the hell, he scared me so bad. I, I got to be careful. But uh, anyhow, when I first went back out, a couple weeks later, uh, I was after a few minutes. I was. I was about ready to throw up my hands and just say, let's just go right back to Florida. I, I, I'm done with this. I can't do this. Well, anyway, I started wearing this. I, I think I learned how to work. God helped me, and it seemed like I learned how to work around it. And uh, it seemed like it just, when I got this support thing. It was kind of like an elastic thing with some Velcro, and I stra I wear it under my shirt and strap it around my waist. Of course, I was kind of fat. It made me look even fatter. <laughs> I hated that, but... <laughs> But uh, anyway, uh, I, I was able to keep going. And I don't know, maybe people watching may not have been able to tell, but I could always tell. I always had, felt like I had to work around. I always felt like, I'm going to be rude here, but I always felt like it's just going to blow out on me. And uh, anyway, uh, after about three years, that wasn't the thing, that wasn't the main thing that got me off the campus. But uh, uh, this summer, I decided, I decided, well, Maybe I ought to go check it. I was trying to, I've been trying to believe God and trust God. And I went down to the doctor in Miami. And, uh, well, he didn't charge me anything. Praise God. Amen. Amen. And uh, he felt around there, had me cough. <clears throat> Nothing. He said, I said, oh, i got to tell you this. Uh, a few weeks right before I went to him, I called up a pastor friend of mine. Great guy. Well, he's, I knew he had an operation. I asked him some questions. He scared me so bad. As soon as I got off the phone, I'm not making it up. I felt, I mean, this never got any better. And it seemed like if I'd lift something or heavy or I tried it, it just aggravated it. And then I got off the phone with him, never felt worse in my life. Oh, man. I went to that doctor. I was, uh, oh. so uh, the stuff he told me, the longer you wait on that, the longer it takes to heal. And uh, you better get that taken care of. So, but anyway, he didn't, I, I, I thought for sure the guy made a mistake. So he said, he said, let's do a CAT scan. So we did a CAT scan, nothing. So uh, I just, at that point, I took it on faith that God healed me. Amen. Amen. I, don't wear, I don't wear that thing no more. And uh, um, Amen. I feel better now. Thank you, God. Jesus. I, I, yes. I give glory to God because Amen. in the natural, those don't heal. Amen. Yes. Amen. That's right. All right. Uh, Matthew chapter 16, verse 19. Jesus said, <clears throat> and I feel like there's a lot in this verse that we don't know much about. He said, and I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven. 
Whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. And then Luke chapter 11, verse 21, 22. <clears throat> says, When a strong man armed keepeth his palace, his goods are in peace. But when a stronger than he shall come upon him and overcome him, he taketh from him all his armor, wherein he trusted, and divided his spoils. So let's pray. Amen. Father, we thank you for thank this you, opportunity Amen. that we have to hear your word. Amen. Father, we pray you take the things of thine, reveal them to Amen. us. Give us a spirit of wisdom and revelation Amen. and the knowledge of you, the eyes of our understanding being enlightened, that we all with an open face beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord, Yes. You would change us into your same image from glory to glory, even as by the Spirit of the Lord. I pray for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ, till we all come in the unity of the faith and knowledge of the Son of God, to a perfect man, to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. Yes. I pray for me that utterance may be given unto me, yes. that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel, to speak as the oracles of God, to minister as of the ability that you give, yes. that you would be glorified. God, I pray you'd stir us and strengthen us, challenge us, equip us, comfort us. In Jesus' name, <clears throat> amen. 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 <clears throat> All right. This text here, uh, I believe the strong man arm keeping his palace I believe that represents Satan. <clears throat> uh, when a strong and he shall come upon him, and overcome him, he taketh from him all his armor, where he trusted, and spoiled his and divided his spoils. I believe, of course, that represents the Lord Jesus Christ and the believer. Uh, Satan has got the sinner uh, held captive. Yep. The armor he trusts in is his excuses, his hiding places. His refuges of lies, his vain philosophies, right. his false ideologies, his false conceptions of God, uh, his false ideas about his own self-righteousness. Now, <clears throat> I believe uh, open-air campus preaching, uh, we are coming uh, about it as directly as you can into direct confrontation with demonic power. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're, we're attacking Satan's citadel. Or his fortress. Now, like I said, it seems like there's two extremes. Uh, it seems like there's either the, the, the devil consciousness, you know, uh, people uh, uh, fly over cities and, you know, casting down principalities, and, you know, this one had this prophecy, and there's a spirit of this over this, and a spirit of this over that. <clears throat> and, and there's a little bit of truth to that. But a lot of times it just gets uh, too far and gets into foolishness. Right. And you never see any impact, right. nothing's changing. Correct. Uh, or. Or it's ignored. Right. But uh, go over a few basics here. Uh, first off, Satan is the god of this world. Amen. Uh, Saint Crit Saint Corinthians chapter four verse three said, "If our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, in whom the god of this world has blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them." Right. Amen. Luke four four says, "Man shall not live by bread alone, by every word of God." The devil taking them up into a high mount, showing them all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time, <clears throat> and, and, and sent them, and sent them, uh, uh, all, all this power, uh, all this power has been delivered unto me, and to whomsoever I will, I give it. If thou therefore wilt worship me, all shall be thine. So what Satan told Jesus was, uh, all this power has been delivered unto me, That's and right. I will give it unto whomsoever I will. Damn. If thou therefore wilt worship me. All shall be thine. So he said this power had been delivered unto him. 1 John 5, 19 says, We know that we are of God, and the whole, whole world, world lieth in wickedness. Yeah, the whole man. world lies under the sway, yep. the influence yep. of the evil one. Yep. Jesus said in John 14, 30, Hereafter I will not talk much with you, for the prince of this world cometh, yeah. and hath nothing yeah. in me. Yeah, yeah, nothing. Uh, uh, Ephesians chapter 2, verse 1. It says, "You that were, uh, you that were, uh, uh, you have been quickened, who are dead in trespass and sin. When in time past you walked according to the course of this world, yes. according to the prince of the power of the air, 
the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience, yes. among whom we all had our conversation in times past and lust of the flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and the mind, were by nature the children of wrath, yep. even as even others. As other. Revelation 12, 9 says, That old serpent which is the devil and Satan, which right. deceiveth the whole world. Yep. Yes, the devil coming. has real power. Yes, uh, it, 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 Acts chapter, I was this guy, this this uh, guy was talking to me. I was at this church, and he, he's just going on and on. And you know, he's he's uh, you know try, trying to make me understand about the Bible. Huh. And you know, uh, I, I believe I believe that we can uh, put too much emphasis uh, sometimes on the sovereignty of God and too little responsibility upon right. himself. Well, he's telling me, well, you know, it's, on, it's, it's God's response. God's got to open their eyes out there. Not, you know, I just let him go on on there for all. He's been going on and on. Yeah. But if I, you know, I wasn't trying to have no bad spirit about it. But I just threw in there. I says, uh, well, well, God told uh, Paul to open their eyes. Yeah. Acts 26, 18, God told Paul to open their eyes and then turn them from darkness unto light, from the power of Satan unto God, that they may receive forgiveness of sin and an inheritance among them which are sanctified by faith that is in me. Jesus said in Luke uh, uh, 10, 18, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Mm -hmm. He said, and behold, I give unto you power to tread upon serpents and right. scorpions oh, and over oh, all God. the power of the enemy. Mm -hmm. Nothing shall by any means hurt you. Acts chapter 5, verse 3, uh, Peter said, uh, Ananias, why has Satan filled thine heart to lie to the Holy oh, Ghost God. to keep back part of the price? Uh, so Satan took, filled his heart uh, the, the, the Bible says in Colossians chapter 1, verse 13, who has delivered us from the power of darkness mm -hmm. and has translated us in the kingdom right. of his dear son. son. Luke chapter 13, verse 16, uh, uh, Jesus said, Ought not this woman, being a daughter of, a, a daughter of Abraham, whom Satan hath found low these 18 years, right. uh, be loosed from this bond on the right. Sabbath day? Acts 10, 38, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. Uh, 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 Luke chapter 22, verse 31. He, he, said, he, he said, Simon, 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 behold, Satan has desired to have you that he may sift you as wheat. He said, but I have prayed to that thy faith fail not. Right. When thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. Verse 53, yeah. Jesus said to Satan, this is your hour and the power of darkness. <clears throat> uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 7, Paul said, uh, lest, I, lest I should be exalted through the abundance of revelations, there was given to me the, a thorn in the oh. flesh, the messenger of Satan, to buffet me, lest I should be exalted above measure. measure. Jesus told Peter uh, in, in Matthew 16, 23, he says, Get thee behind me, Satan. Thou art an offense unto me. Thou savest not the things that be of God, that the, but those that be of men. <clears throat> yeah, okay. Well, <clears throat> we have a responsibility. Uh, uh, with, the, the Bible said in Ephesians 4, 27, Neither give place to the devil. I said, he, it, I, I, uh, If he says don't give place to the devil, then it's possible for us to give place to the devil. Yeah. First John 5, 18 says, Come on. is born of God, sinneth not. But he that is begotten of God keeps himself, and that wicked one touches him, him not. not. Right. St. Corinthians 2, 11 says, Let Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. I tell you, if we're ignorant of Satan's devices, if we ignore, he's a lot wiser than we are, he's a lot stronger than we are, he's a lot more powerful than we are, if we ignore his schemes, his strategies, his plots, then we can be taken captive uh, to his devices. First yes. Peter 5, 8 said, Be sober, be vigilant. Because your adversary, the devil, is a roaring lion, walking about seeking whom he may devour, whom resists steadfast in the faith. James 4, 7 says, Submit yourself, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Come on, brother. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Apostle, Paul, Apostle Paul said, I mean, how many of you believe uh, that you're, we've got the potential to be that way? How many of you believe that right now you're greater than the Apostle Paul?